Step 1, count and mark the spinous process of T7. You can do this by using both hands for spinous process palpation. Step 2, palpate and outline the middle and upper edge of the spinous process of T7. Imagine and mark the approximate location of the T7 to T8 interlaminar space in relation to the upper edge of spinous process number 7. T7 to T8 interlaminar space is usually above the upper edge of spinous process number 7. Step 3. Choose the skin entry point based on the spinous process outline. Let's say one centimeter lateral and very slightly or nothing at all caudad from the upper edge of T7. When looking at different spinous processes, the distances for safe landing on the lamina vary depending on what level you are on. For example, between spinous process three and four, you have to move one centimeter laterally and one centimeter caudad to get in the correct safe landing spot. Whereas between spinous process seven and eight, you only have to move one centimeter laterally due to the differences in the degree of angulation of the spinous processes. Step four, enter the skin with a search needle perpendicular to all planes and advance it until it hits the lamina also known as safe landing. Do not forget to inject numbing medication while probing for the interlaminar space. Make sure to utilize first medial horizontal sweeps and then vertical sweeps when walking on the lamina to create a mental image of the anatomy. First, enter the skin and safely land on the lamina. After safely landing on the lamina, pull the needle back and angulate it medially with the intention to land the tip of the needle on the bone about 5 millimeters from the original safe landing spot. You should feel bone a little bit more superficial than before. From this point, you should start your vertical walk on the base of the spinous process until you walk off into the interlaminar space. When you do not feel the bone below the tip of the needle and you feel engagement with the ligamentum flavum, you can start checking for a loss of resistance. Be sure to continue advancing until you have a loss of resistance. Here is a view from the inside. 